Hello everyone and welcome back to the growing town and we're really growing. Look at this. Oh my goodness, we have a little house with like a little, oh my gosh, look, 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 look. You can, woo, well there's the sky, but look, you can actually see the little sandboxes that people have and their little lawn chair and their little bird baths. Oh my gosh. Oh, I love this. I love the level of detail. But like I was saying, welcome back to Mammoth Gardens, our growing town, which is currently very different than where we last left off. So when we left off, we had a few uh, buildings over here and we had some commerce over here and we basically did not have this giant roundabout. Well, we passed the next stage. So we managed to get our roundabouts just at the end of the last video. So I took some time to knock down a whole bunch of buildings, which was pretty darn painful and knock down a whole bunch of roads and put in this roundabout and it works wonderfully. I am so happy with it. The traffic flow is nice and fast. We uh, took out the windmills from over here and put some more industry. Actually, our little moo cow fields extends all the way over there. And then we've also got traffic coming in and out of the city at a pretty good pace. Um, also, there's parks. So now the first thing you see when you come in to our beautiful mammoth gardens, it's not very beautiful yet because I mean, one of the first things you see is this like pollution and all of these industrial buildings that are just like blah. I wish they would be office buildings. That would be cool. But the first thing you see is this. And then you also see the parks and a little bit of our businesses. And it looks like a business is upgrading. I hope that's upgrading at least. Uh, I cut the connections right here so that we have the minimum number of intersections slowing us down. And let's see, what else, what else? Oh, we just, we're growing and expanding. We've got our parks. We've got our little dog parks. In fact, I should name them. This one needs to be, um, let's call it Tate Park after our boy Tate. So let's call that Tate Park after our, our dog Tate from Minecraft, our zoo crafting series. Oh, and I named it elementary schools. So we have the Murder of Crows Elementary because a group of crows is known as a murder. And we've got the Leafy Green Elementary School, which is in the like, what I consider the nicer part of town. But if you actually look at our land value, which I'm finally figuring out how to use these, look at this. Oh yeah, because we have elementary school and healthcare and all sorts of wonderful things over here. So this place is just absolutely flowing with like prosperity and land value is just going up. And this area, not quite so much just yet, but it's starting to affect this zone. Also, if you check out, let's see, what else is there to say? Well, general happiness. People are pretty happy except in here where no one lives. So it doesn't matter. Empty house. No wonder it's unhappy. You be quiet, empty house. And then, oh, this place is unhappy. Ready sliced fruit. Not operating because it doesn't have enough workers. Hopefully that'll be fixed. Same thing with these guys. So these guys aren't happy because they don't have enough workers. But let's see. Fire safety. Ooh, no wonder this area doesn't have very high land value. We might need to move a fire truck down here. What else is in here? Pollution. You can see the pollution is really starting to build up over here. And actually, when I was checking out our natural resources, I realized we kind of put things in the wrong spots. This area right here, Mukau Fields, isn't really the best spot to have a fertile land where we can use... Um, the agriculture this area down here is actually the best spot to put agriculture because it has nice fertile soil it'll be a really good spot to have our cows so i think we might move that industry down there as time goes on and there's also a good spot over here to do some forestry and a little bit of a good spot up here to do some forestry but if you look around at the other maps there is oil aplenty right here ores all over the place right here and more oil over here so i'm really tempted to expand down this way um i don't know if we'll do it just yet but because we're still pretty far away from there but i'm really tempted to do it sometime and the reason we got rid of our wind turbines over here which were a little unsightly is because we now have an upgraded wind turbine the advanced wind turbine we have three of them in here they're sitting down in the water so they can produce clean electricity from the wind and the, the water that helps power them so they're over here transmitting electricity along this little line right here over to our 
our entire town, which is no longer fussing about not having any electrical uh, help. And then let's see what else. Yeah, basically it's just, it's going pretty good, you guys. But we have some new buildings and things to check out. So let's jump back into Mammoth Gardens. Look at our little roundabout. I really thought managing roads and things would be kind of annoying. Oh, look, you can see our little ambulance. Oh, are you going to go get somebody? Responding to a call at the Cooper residence. It's like zipping down these back roads for no reason. Oh, transporting a patient for treatment. Oh, I hope they're okay. Look, and then we can just like follow him. Eh, there we go. Oh my gosh. Yep, here we go. No, I want to follow this guy. Oh, it's still a little... I'm just gonna like follow him by camera at this rate. Hold still. At least we know. Follow him, follow him, follow him. Jeez, I guess we're just gonna follow him manually. So the roundabout didn't slow him down at all. Oh, we're almost to the health clinic. Here he goes, he's transporting the patient. He drove right through that car, I'm sure that's fine. And the medical clinic currently has three patients. Ooh, okay, and so they seem like they're doing just fine. Um, very low, we probably have some bored doctors like playing with the, the gloves. Like when we were in my CNA classes and you get bored, you'd like blow up the, the gloves that were made out of the plastic and make balloons out of them. True stories, you really did. And we went through so many gloves because you had to change them all the time. But I love our little roundabout. I'm really surprised that I enjoy it so much. And I went ahead and got the really big one. So this has several lanes that hopefully will keep traffic because a lot of the traffic congestion. And again, I didn't think when I got this game, I thought oh, I was going to look at the trees and be like, oh my gosh, trees. In fact, let's put down some more trees. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. What a beautiful sunrise in paradise, paradise on Earth, paradise. Oh my gosh. But yeah, I thought when I got this game, I would be obsessed with the trees and the seagulls. Do you see those seagulls flying around the place? Being adorable. And these poor trees, look at them try so hard to be cool. And they just can't because it's like all polluted over here. I hope they can help with the pollution a little bit. Our fire station is over here. And I hope that will make it easy for it to get to anywhere it needs to go. You know what? I don't think this is a good road for our fire station to be on because they can only turn this way. But then they can turn around right here, I'm pretty sure. So I think it's gonna be okay, but it would be cool if I could upgrade that. Um, but I don't think this would help. <laughs> so I've never really paid this much attention to roads ever in any game or any context, even in real life. Uh, we added a lot of trees in between the houses, and our demands for everything are still pretty low, but I think it's time, I think that's because it is time to get ourselves a high school set up. So we're actually going to put a high school in right over here. Sorry, houses that were there. And look at everybody, they're like, woohoo! So now their teenagers can come and learn over here. So we can have up to 1,600 students, and we are already filling up, and look at these houses! They're like, oh, right, our, ki our teenagers can become educated. Everybody's getting really happy. Oh, yeah, and we can set up a little bus depot, which we currently don't have enough money for. And I think I had to take out a bunch of loans already. Yeah, I did. <laughs> I currently don't have enough money for it. Um, but we can just kind of watch things. Oh, is this building upgrading? Come on, Mayor, doesn't the city board come up with anything? Hey, I like my cows. Don't you fuss at me about moo cow fields. Oh no, there's a fire! Do I have a fire truck? Oh look, there's a little fire truck! Ready sliced fruit is on fire right next to the dump. That can't be a good place to have a fire. I hope the fire- Oh, here comes two little fire trucks. I think they're gonna be here uh, before this place burns down too. Look at that flame. You know what? Now that we're setting different regions, uh, in fact different districts, what I really want to do with this one is I want to put a bigger road straight down through the middle and start uh, expanding over here with a little bit more industry up here, like forestry industry. Who should I call if no one shows up to pick up the dead? What? Where's someone dead? Is that what this has been flashing about? No, that's, that's not enough educated workers. Is someone dead there though? Or is that just education? I'm pretty sure that's just education. Who's dead? There's... Are these people dead? 
not enough educated workers at the organic food store. Well, we're working on that, guys. Hang on. Okay, there's a big giant fire. I hope that's not where the dead are. I hope everyone made it out safely. Come on, Mammoth Gardens. What's going on here? Where's the dead? Oh, are they at the clinic? They might be at the clinic. Okay, there's one way we can figure out where the dead are. Are they at the clinic? Maybe. <laughs> Who knows? So, um... Huh. I don't know where the dead are, but there is a way to find out. And it's a little bit creepy. I really hope that wasn't because of the, um, the fire. But let's go ahead and we're going to put down a little, like, backcountry road to have a nice peaceful place where the cemetery can go, like, right there. Sorry, house. I always feel so bad when I, like, knock people's houses down. But I guess that's progress, maybe? Alright, and then let's go ahead and we'll stick them, like, right there. Oh, that made everyone really happy. Oh, look at it. Hmm. And we're going to go ahead and stick uh, some more some more stuff there. And then, let's see. Can I, like, put a little park in over here? I feel like I need to put, like, a park over here. You know what I mean? And then drag another road down. But I don't want to encourage a bunch of trucks to try to sneak down this way, you know? So let's see. But I think you can actually ban, like, certain vehicles from trying to wiggle their way down to where they should be. Yeah, sorry, I'm sorry. I keep knocking down everybody's houses. If these were Sims, it would be devastating because they would just like be losing their houses left and right. Come on, I want to make it nice and even. Just one more, one more little tick. One more, one more for me. No, okay, that's fine. I see how it is. Actually, I guess I'm just gonna go a bit longer then. All right, let's do this. No! <laughs> Why do I always put the wrong roads down? It's so embarrassing. Okay, there's that. And then here's this. And now I want to put like a little park next to the cemetery. What kind of park? There's a lot of different parks. Oh, and I have like no money. <gasps> I totally forgot about these itty bitty little like carousels and little bounce houses you can put down. Oh my goodness, little bounce house. Everyone want a little bounce house next to their place? Oh my gosh. Uh, let's put down, what's this? What is this actually? Oh, it's the dog park. I don't think I want to put the dog park next to the cemetery. I feel like that sends some mixed signals. <laughs> um, large playground right next to the cemetery? Anyone? I mean, my mom used to live next to a cemetery growing up and she did fine. Uh, you know what? I like it. It's the cycle of life and death right here where everyone can kind of appreciate it. So we're just going to stick that right there. And while we're over here, I want to stick. Look, there's like a little path right there. I want to do that. Sorry, person's house I just destroyed, but that, that was tempting me too much. And then we're just going to stick more residential over in this corner for now. There we go. I didn't expect to stick people down here. Let's make sure they have water. They'll have enough electricity, thankfully. Almost just one more. <sighs> There's always like one little tile. All right, and now we are going to find the dead by following a hearse. So let's wait for a hearse to come out. I'm watching this. No more urns on the mantelpiece. The new cemetery is open. Ah, ah, there it is. Okay, we've got the hearse. And we're gonna follow it, you guys. No, follow it! It'll from the Sunset Residence. Come on, follow this place. There we go. Picking up dead person from the Sunset Residence. Oh, it's down here? Oh no, I really hope it wasn't that fire. Oh my gosh, I think it was the fire! Oh no, we passed the fire. It is down here in the countryside though. They're loading up a dead person right now. Look, they're carrying a little coffin and everything. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, I totally missed that. That was amazing. They're carrying like this tiny little coffin. They loaded everything up. Back on the little dirt road. Oh, they look so cute. Everything is just amazing. I I can't believe the depth and the texture. Oh, there's the ambulance again. I hope everyone's okay over here. I wonder if they're getting really sick. That's the sound of another person dying, I think. All right. We have our first person, oh, and the hearse is going out again. Who just died? The Garland residence? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, like everyone's dying here. 
Oh my goodness. They really are. Oh, and there's another death sound. I think I need to put another clinic down here or make them healthier somehow. Look at them. They have the little tiny coffin. They really seriously are carrying a little. Oh my gosh. It looks just like I'm staring. I mean, it looks just like I'm staring at someone's miniature little set. And I'm a huge fan of miniature things like this. But go for it, you guys. They're carrying a little hearse into the little, or they're carrying a little coffin into the hearse. It's not a very long trip to your final resting destination, my friend. Look at the little graves start popping up and all the people walking on the road. Maybe to come to the park for all I know. Oh my gosh, so many death dongs. So many death dongs down here. I don't want this many death dongs. How can I increase these people's health? Oh my gosh, is this, it's a, oh my goodness. We've got some nice houses popping up over here. The Lafayette residence is just cranky pants because no one's moved in yet. The Primrose house is feeling pretty good about life and their, their kids should be getting educated. But there's a lot of death going on over here and I don't want there to be death. <laughs> let's see if we can increase their health somehow. Okay, let's see, fire safety, noise pollution. Oh yeah, we still have to work on the, the travel thing, but that's gonna have to be when we have more money. So let's fast forward a little bit. While we try to figure out ways, I think this is health. Yeah, this is health. All right, I think we do need to put another clinic down here because I think it's just too far away and these places are not getting very healthy. And I do want to move like the, the industry down there. We're getting a little bit more demand for industry and residential. So I didn't plan on moving this way just yet, but let's go ahead and build some better roads down here. Like I really didn't plan on building down here yet, but no, I do not destroying that. Thank you very much. Shall I do that? And then I don't want to destroy my little, dang it. <laughs> It's, it's in the wrong spot. Now we have this one little funky dunky dirt road. Drat. Maybe if I destroy it. Go cop car, go. Go dump truck, go. I can come back in here and put it down. Yeah? Without destroying my park. I don't want to destroy my park. You don't get it. I want, I want the complete total opposite of destruction of my little park. No! Why? It's a cute little playground for the kids. Okay, we're gonna have to come up with a creative workaround because I'm not destroying. See, this is where Siri gets kind of ridiculous and silly because I don't want to destroy that little park. So we have like this really weird little little loop loop just because I don't want to take the kids away from the park. Oh my gosh. All right, and we need a ton more residential because people are really starting to move in. I kind of wish we could start doing like high rise, high density zones. Can we do that yet? No, what do we need to do? Oh, we need to reach a population of 7,000 and then we can change all of this into high residential, like high density residential, which is what I want to do. How are the trucks handle and everything? Everything seems to be okay-ish over here. So that's slowing stuff down too much. I think it's okay. I know, I know. I'm glad you like the cornfields. I do too. Um, hmm. So hang on a second. Where to put... I mean, Moo Cow Fields is down here, and we need more industry somewhere soon. I guess we might as well just start growing this way. Why not? Oh my gosh, look at all the poop in the water. So much poop water! Grody! We'll clean that up when we can. When we have... That's it. We just have to keep growing because we need more educated workers so that we can get more people going so that we can get more done because it's all just this big giant loop. All right, so let's come down here and we have the dump. We've got some industrial areas, moo cow fields. I think we'll let like this be kind of the, the you know, the rural farm area. And then it'll just start like looping. Well, actually, that would be a bad thing because this is actually right in the middle <laughs> of where like this map right here is going to be our central map. So trying to make this like a rural farming area is kind of a weird thing to do right there. But say love you. It happens. All right. And let's get in here. And yeah, I'm going to keep this kind of like the rural ish area. Can we just put this here or is that that's going to make a big old mess? 
Where's a little teensy roundabout? Oh my gosh, it's so cute! I love it! I love roundabouts! I'm just like falling for them. Um, so I think I'm gonna put this here. Wow, look how messy it is! But it has trees in the middle! Alright, and let's take that one out, and this one out, and this one out. We'll expand off of it later. Um, and then we'll just go ahead... Where should I put the roads? Come here, you road. Where would it be a good spot to start? Like right here? I think so. And then around it loops. And then just go down. Oh my gosh, that actually might work. <gasps> that actually might work, even though it's really funky looking. And our little rural country houses. How is everything off by like one block? just is. Let's go all the way down to this click. How are you all off? Just by like one little clicky click. Should I loop that together or should I have it looped together up here? Hmm. I don't want to make too many intersections and too many fuss bucky spots, but actually this might be the smarter move. I'm sorry people I just kicked out of your homes. I know it sucks. I'm sorry. I always feel so bad. Um... And we're going to continue with a little bit more rural roads down here. And we'll make this area some more agriculture, like over here. Maybe. Eh, might not be a horrible idea. Can I, can I get a lot of little zone spots? I think I need to put a little... There we go. Not too many of the grid formations, mind you, but there. All right. And let's just make sure that the water is pumping down here. <laughs> I'm probably making so many mistakes. And you know what, guys? It's okay. Because I'm having fun. And that's what I love about these games, is how much fun you can start having. You just have to remember to have the fun. <laughs> all right, so let's go ahead and we're gonna turn all of this into residential. We are going to put another health clinic in here as soon as we can. Right now, that's definitely not an option because we are out of money. But let's go ahead. We're going to cover all this in residential housing. And I'm going to get another clinic in here. ASAP. And this is going to be residential housing. And then we're going to kind of split it so that this is going to be... This is going to be residential right here. And then industrial is going to start over here, and it sucks for the people living here, but that is kind of the quality of the neighborhood they're in, so sorry guys. I will, however, expand Mukau Fields to make sure that it goes down into this zone as well, so all of this industrial will be agriculture, and it won't turn into other stuff. There we go. Alright, I love the little path we have right here. Uh, we might need to upgrade the density of the roads that transport all the trucks. Because I do have like a little transport road system that kind of has hugged along the back here. So I think we actually need to upgrade that density. Ooh! I would love to have astronomy hotels. Are you kidding? That would be amazing. Oh my gosh. I'm sorry, roads! <laughs> I just like got rid of most of our industry! <laughs> Oh dear. And then I'm just gonna leave the rest. It'll have to rebuild. Look at all the little houses like upgrade so much. That is just so cool. Alright, and do we have enough to put in a little clinic? I think we sure do. I would love to have a little clinic in here. Just kind of next to everybody uh, on this side. Like a little doctor! We'll pretend it's a little doctor who like grew up on this side of town. And he's like, yeah, I'll take care of y'all, don't worry. Uh, but I don't think he'll discourage much smoking, because it's like a rural community that way. They'll fight him on it. <laughs> Alright, and how's our little how's cemetery? Do hold dead people in there. So I think we've, uh, like, averted the crisis. And kids are playing at the large playground. How's our Tate Park? Ooh, Tate Park is getting a lot of attention. And... The elementary school is doing well. How's the high school? The high school is packed to the gills, so hopefully we can work on getting some more moolah and getting more educated people and hopefully attracting 
more people into town because 16 is not a lot of population to have. Come on, have babies, guys. Have babies. I give you perks for your dogs. I give you perks for your kids. Ooh, this house is upgrading. But all right, let's see if we can get more people happy, more stuff going on. We have a nice little cemetery now. You actually get a unique building, which is really cool and creepy at the same time. The Plaza of the Dead for filling up three cemeteries. So that'll be something interesting to get. And then let's see the Statue of Shopping. You also get the a plaza if you have average citizen healthcare under 20%. Not something I've got yet. Not something I plan on getting. One full lifespan lived in the city. A pretty fountain reminds uh, passerby of how fragile life is. Ooh, I want the fountain of life and death. I would put it down like across from the cemetery. This is a cute little cemetery. We need to name the cemetery. But all right, like I said, I am oddly enchanted with the road system. I think this is the funniest little thing. There's an abandoned building in the city because we don't have enough educated workers. Are you kidding me? I think it's because we didn't have enough educated workers. Curse those organic food stores and their demand for like talented baggers of food. <laughs> So we'll keep an eye on how things are growing and hopefully, oh no, there's another abandoned, another one. Why, why are you abandoned? Mmm, that's a clothing store, okay. Okay, I need to increase the education, I think. And maybe we'll do that by putting more of our budget into education. So we might start passing some policies and making more neighborhood districts next time and I will see you guys then. Bye-bye.